Okay, so we've got a problem. Oh yeah, what is our problem? Unless she's hiding a cut on her nose, or possibly under her bangs, I don't see a facial wound on her. Uh, the facial wound that Typhoon Tornado inflicted upon his attacker with as a soba knife. Uh, with a soba knife as he was being smothered with the dough. However, what if there's something under her bangs or under her nose? I know, those are the only places it could be. But it could be in those places. That's true. So I guess we don't have a problem. So Gadu still might be that person. The only person with an obvious injury on their face. It's Bucky. But does Gadu know how to cut soba dough? Well, maybe it'll turn out to be Bucky. I you are just hoping and disturbing. I understand that you're supposed to believe in your client. And I'm not arguing with that. But I'm not playing this game right now. So I am not going to believe in Bucky. Not any other client. I'll believe in all of those other ones, but I am not believing in him because he's a doofus and I don't really like him. That was really mean, bittersweet gamers. Now look, Bucky, if you want to come out here and be interesting, that'd be fine. And I'm, I, I'm not judging you for drinking, but I am judging you for getting so sloshed and becoming an idiot. Getting? Yes, this is, this is why. We're the bittersweet gamers. This is why we're the bittersweet gamers. I'm we square? I'm the opinionator. Bucky, go to hell! Hmm, it appears we've arrived at a compelling the beginning! Conclusion. Taken together, all of these points paint a convincing picture of the defendant's guilt. I know, that is why I said them. Owen, is there anything else you can tell us? It doesn't matter how small of a detail, anything will do. Uh, you're scaring me! Big canary woman. Oh, I'm sorry, Owen. Auntie Athena didn't mean to wave her voice. <laughs> I have to be gentler with him. I can't forget he's only five years old mentally. Uh. No need to be scared, okay, sweetie? Just tell us anything you can remember. Sykes, Dono. What? Don't ever talk like that ever again. Well, when I woke up, the person who killed Shisho was standing over me. Yeah? Bleeding from their head. Yeah? Owen, you saw the killer's face? Oops. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> so, so who was it, Owen? Do you remember? <laughs> oh, I... I don't know who it was. As a grown man, I am sitting here listening to another grown man go on like this. This is an awkward situation. Oh yeah? I'm about to make it a lot more awkward. I'm really surprised we were able to find such a big clue in this case. In you, Wendo! You're really reaching with this one, squared dono. Well, you know. I gotta be me. I'm picking up some noise. I can't believe I'm associated with these fools. That means there's still something to uncover in Owen's testimony. I don't know what Owen saw, but suffice it to say we are analyzing the dreams of a child. Explain to me how it is not Bucky, you've wasted enough of our time defense. Let it go and move on. No, there's still discord in Owen's heart that needs to be addressed. Therefore, I can't give in here. Owen, do you think you can continue your testimony for us? Mm, mm, okay. I'll enter the new info and run an update then. Shisho had blood on his face and a knife in his hand. He was on the floor and somebody was smooshing dough into his face. Smooshing dough! I couldn't move at all. <laughs> Rotate your thinking 90 degrees. I was so scared, I passed out. And when I woke up... The person who killed Shisho was standing over me with a cut that could easily be hidden by bangs. Joy! 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 Oh. Is 
that so? It had to have been somebody he would have been happy to see. Owen saw the real killer's face. This is ultra-critical eyewitness testimony. He must have been so scared. Wait a minute. What's that one emotion doing in there? Joy! 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 So, uh, about this. Despite witnessing the culprit's terrible crime firsthand, Owen experienced a positive feeling. One of... relief? The person the witness saw was no stranger. Rather, it was the accused. Therefore, it is only natural that he felt some level of relief when he saw a familiar face. A face with a cut on the wrong side of the face compared to Bucky. But I didn't say that. <laughs> Defense. End this madness and sully your soul no more. I'll sully whatever I want. That sounded better in my head. Defense? I don't mind what you do on someone else's time, but on the court's time. Owen! Who did you see? That nice smell. I love the smell of that perfume. Hey, Bucky, what type of perfume are you wearing right now? Shoba! That is the right answer. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Widget. It's the smell of... of... Uh, balloons. <laughs> you can do it. Try to remember, Owen. Oh, the smell of... of uh, and Owen has died. Uh, Owen! Balloon! Oh, I'm not here. Now she... Of course she's there, waiting to be apparated when she needs to be. Apparated? Is that like something... To do with an aperture or an apparition? No, no, don't worry about it. It seems Owen is now resting in the infirmary. Our infirmary is seeing a lot of use this trial. They certainly have their hands full today down there. <laughs> Let's continue with the trial. Despite Owen's testimony, it is the opinion of this humble servant of the Holy Mother. Objection. That the tr Excuse me! that the child's words were insufficient to clear the accused of suspicion. Really? But what about the scent of perfume Owen mentioned? Who are we to judge the scent a person wears? Uh, look, Nayuda, I don't care what you do on your time. You can't turn that around on me. Sure I can. It's the whole premise of the game. Ah! <laughs> I walked right into the most obvious joke! I believe it's a clue that will lead us to the true culprit. Hmm. But there are thousands of perfumes in the world, but we only need to look at who would wear perfume among the people there. Why don't we, before we worry about anything else, just have Gail come over here and smell the perfume? Well, Owen can't. He's in the infirmary. <laughs> Gail, could you come over here so we can sniff you? It could even be the scent of the hair product the accused uses for that fairly excellent pompadour. Or he, Regent, or whatever they call it. He does have one amazing hairstyle, so that's certainly possible. I just imagined the judge. I just imagined the judge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The witness is a five-year-old boy. He cannot tell the difference between conventional perfumes and hair products or cologne. He could have meant to use the word cologne, but he is five. Uh, why couldn't you have gone for a crew cut or something, Bucky? Well, Bucky... What's more, the only person who can cut soba noodles with such precision, so quickly, and without be without worrying about the stress, is the accused, and no other. Oh man, how am I supposed to argue with that? And so, the person Owen saw at the scene of the crime can only be the accused Bucky Wet! Huh? Well, I don't know who it was either. Huh? What the? Hey, hey, hey! Dude, it's drink it! Bad, Bucky! D I. What? Uh, <laughs> Bucky, drink a glass of salt water or something. What? How are you still so sloshed? 
What have they been giving you down in the infirmary? Oh, there's lots of alcohol down here. My Medical alcohol. Glug, glug, glug. I'm more highly concentrated. I never use hair products or anything with a smell. Then we it, get in the shoba. Yeah, actually, he's serious about that. If I wore something like that, the smell would get into the shoba. Boom! Check it! Check it now! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh, Ow. yeah! <laughs> this guy is a pro at delivering noodles. I, <laughs> I am impressed. Uh, Mr. Wet, aren't you supposed to be resting in the infirmary? I do have one serious complaint about this situation, however. Yeah? He has not brought me my soba. I'm afraid it's far too far away for me to do that, Mr. Opinionator. Ah, dang it! Whatever! Boy! Boy! You think I'd let my soba stick a perfume? Try that chilled soba for yourselves and she... Zaru Soba. Mm, it seems that everyone's getting fed this trial. I believe we have no choice but to try it. Strictly for examination purposes, of course. Of course. Now then, let's dig in, shall we? Later on, I'll send out for pizza. <laughs> no, 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 David, the game provided it. You don't have to do it yourself. Oh, sorry. That was delightful. Man, well, I'm satisfied that there are no traces of hair products or perfumes in Mr. Wet Soba. <laughs> First, sweet bean buns, and now savory soba. <laughs> what a delectable trial this has been. Ah, oh, I love my job. Wait until he gets to the pizza murders. This texture is different from the soba I had the other day. It reminds me of a dish we have in Kurain called... Banu Poon. Banu Pun? Banu Pun? Banupun? But, but, I. Bay Nu Poo Woo Woo Nu. I don't know. Nu Poo Nab? What you think, Ms. Chickadee? My soup is pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Don't you think so, Simon? Sykes, Dodo, <laughs> you do recall that the reason I am over here on your bench is because I wish to continue to eat this soap. <laughs> it still pales in comparison to his late father's cuisine, however. Sh me? Why you always gotta be so hot on me? This is the nicest he's ever been. I have never seen him this kind. Bailiff, take the defendant back to the infirmary at once for some rest. Man, he's just not going to be able to get through a testimony, is he? I know that cold soba is, like, cold, but it's supposed to be chilled. Like, oh, it's chilled, all right. Just wondering where he gets it. Rest! Hey, I ain't up a plain old weedy you don't know, you know? Bro? Okay. So, Geru murders Typhoon with the soba dough. Right. And leaves it there. Bucky shows up to teach him how to cook. And because he's an so... unconscious, Tornado realizes, hey, this soba dough shouldn't be left sitting. Chops it up, turns it into turns it into noodles. Probably like props him up, puts it under him, and then like lets go because he's drunk. And it does, he doesn't think it's weird at all that he just face plants into the soba. Normally, I would think that is such a stretch. Such. But look at the trial so far. But Bucky is an idiot and is so friggin' hammered that I could see him doing that. If that's what it is, oh my god. I'm fresh like my soba. You don't let soba do rest. It's about the three freshes of soba. Grind the seeds fresh. Cut the dough fresh and boil the brrr, I'll never be able to finish this. Peace out. <laughs> I like how he's on roller skates or something. Oh, uh, he's got the skateboard. Oh, what am I? I'm an idiot. That's probably where he got the injury on his forehead. Good grief. What a defendant. Ah, uh, seen worse. He cooks good, though. At least Bucky wasn't the source of the perfume smell. Wait a minute. Smelly perfume. 
Hey, like, nobody look at me, okay? Blood! It looks like you remembered something. Don't give me that smug grin, Simon. The phrase smelly perfume reminded me of a certain somebody. Oh, and who might that be? There's only one person that comes to mind. The phrase smelly perfume reminded me of this person. Honk, honk. I don't actually remember that detail, but I do remember them saying Bucky smelly doesn't perfume. Like her because oh, that's the perfume. right! Because, because the perfume, it gets because in the it soba. gets in the soba dough. Conveniently, we were already on our way to accusing Gale anyway. Gadu, sorry. Whatever. Excuse me. Gadu Tornado? Hmm. Yes, she did smell very nice, didn't she? Like, yeah. Just a moment, Defense. You would throw suspicion on Gadu now? Because of a scent? We just proved that Bucky didn't use hair products, which was your only frickin' way of accusing him! This reminds me of an argument I had my freshman year of high school. About perfume? Uh, about the game Ogre Battle. Oh. There is a character you fight early on. I, I mean, he's actually kind of a, an important character in the game and sort of in the series. He's even in one of the Ogre Battle sequels. Hmm. Like, Quas Debonair. Oh, I like him already. Such a suave name. And he has he's he's like a bishy. Okay? okay. And we're talking and, and Of the, course he is with a name like that. And the ogre battle style is art style is like kind of low detail. Mm hmm Like Final Fantasy Tactics had the same ca a character designer. I see. So that that would be anybody who can think about like the not nose sort of flat face. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're it's talking like, about. Like it looks nice, but so anyway, it was sort of low detail like that. Plus, we're talking about low-res Super Nintendo graphics. And he had very long hair as a bishop. Right. When when you down him in battle, because he's like, he's the toughest boss by far that you fought when you get to him. In a really fun stage, too. I love that game in the series. <laughs> uh, Debonair, when you, when you beat a guy, when you're fighting a guy and you beat them, they go, Ugh! When you beat a girl, they go, Ah! Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. Well, when you beat Debonair, he goes, oh, because he's a dude. Yeah. All right? Uh-huh. I was had this horrible argument with this other person that, that was playing the game, which is why we were talking about it, that he was saying Debonair is a girl. What? And, and every time, every argument I presented, he was like, you're basing this whole argument on a sound. Yeah! And it's like, why, do you, why can you just dismiss that? It made me so furious that yeah. he was so dismissive of it. So, you would throw suspicion on Gadu just because of a sin? It rem it made me remember my past! It made me want to beat that guy up! Rah! Actually, it was alright, though. Damon's dark past? Not really. Ah, oh, memories! Now I want to go play Ogre Battle. Your Honor, there is no need to go along with these ever-changing claims of the defense. There's no need to go along with the ever-changing claims of the prosecution. Ah, you do what you have to do. Hmm. I suppose their claims have been awfully inconsistent. But so is yours. But Gail could have been at the crime scene. She <laughs> certainly seemed to be setting things up, didn't she? Yes, but boobs. You'll get to see those balloons of hers if we call her back to the witness stand. I bet Ooh. those I bet those are balloons. I bet those are balloons. <laughs> How vulgar. Simon, what do you think? No comment, Sykes Dono. His honor is not interested in such things in a court of law, right? Now, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves, prosecutor side body. In Kurain, this would never happen. Ma'am, setting the matter of her balloons aside entirely, I do believe it's appropriate to ask Gary some questions, given the circumstances. Yeah, yeah, when she breaks down, it's going to be like, pop, pop. This has nothing to do with her balloons, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. They have to be balloons, or when she slaps her suspenders against them, that would really hurt. From what basis do you use to make that argument? Don't worry about it. Paul Kunka of despair and shame on behalf of another. 
Thank you for calling this disciple of the Tornado School of Bakugo back for an encore. Do you see how I still have everything I have made? Excellent. She's going to add to the repertoire. It's me, the balloon artist you all know and love, Gator Tornado! One, two, balloon! That just seems like that would really hurt if those were real. I think you just shouldn't worry about it. But I should. What wonderful balloon artistry! Your, your honor, please. Oh. Now then, what would you like me to make for you this time? Um, actually, I called you back for more testimony. I want a bowl of noodles. Made of balloons? Sure. I want to, I, I want to see her do it. This is impressive. <laughs> but I'm all talked out. This case has left me completely deflated. That was for you, Square Dono. Ha <laughs> what? <laughs> uh... What? You didn't find that funny? Anyway... What exactly is going on, Simon? It seems the person who murdered Master Tornado was wearing perfume. And you are the only person I could think of who wears perfume. Wait, you mean I am a suspect now? Just because of a little scent and a little sound? And you knew about Owen, right? Well, yes. I often played with him at Shisho's request. How often was window laid out? Well, that's not my business. <laughs> so that means you could have left that fake dying message, right? What? Just because I wear perfume and no Owen? Why would I do that? You think I'm a murderer? Oh, how could you? The witness is absolutely right. The witness is absolutely right. I'm the unified Marty and I talk out my butt. <laughs> with, with no evidence but the distorted memories of a small child. Sorry, I hijacked that from you. It is outrageous of the defense to accuse this woman. Ah, uh, uh, Billy's true feelings. Chachere! That's right! You don't even have any proof! You may step down from the stand, Gade. Get stuffed! The defense does not have one scrap of evidence that connects you to the crime. We've got two! Wait just one minute! I may not have proof, but I do. But Owen's testimony is still... Enough! Please, feel free to leave, Gadu. But, but I'm so close! It's like he's so ad hominem to... Nah, forget it. Well, if the prosecutor says it's okay, then I guess I'll be going now. <laughs> Oi, Gadu. You're an entertainer, <laughs> If it worked once, it might work again. Once you go on stage, it's your duty to complete your performance, is it not? So what are you doing, leaving halfway through? Is he going to pop a balloon? Whoa! There's the Sad Mahdi tricks, or I mean, Simon Blackwell tricks I know and love. <laughs> There's a bandage on Gary's forehead. <laughs> since we know that Master Tornado's killer has a cut on their face somewhere. I impossible. My ad hominem attacks did not force things to go my way. How did you know, Simon? Now I have to engage with the evidence and the arguments instead of telling everyone how pathetic they are. Get stuff. <laughs> I didn't, but I had to take a chance and see for myself. Otherwise, your theory would remain a groundless accusation. Your Honor, Prosecutor Saad Mahdi. The scent of perfume, an injury on the forehead. These things are completely consistent with Owen's testimony. In short, the mysterious individual Owen saw in the dressing room could have been Geru. Miss Sykes. Does this mean you are formally indicating this wit? I've read the wrong word. Does this mean you are formally indicting this witness for the murder of Typhoon Tornado? Shh, 
should your accusation prove to be false, I hope you are prepared to pay the price in full. Uh, there's no DC act here? Simon, what price is he talking about? <laughs> there, you... <laughs> I thought that should be obvious. Prosecutor Sad Monk is saying he'll see to it you never stand in a court of law again. I must say, though, he knows how to make a trial interesting. Just whose side are you on, Simon? Well, I am a prosecutor, for goodness sake. Go on, then. Into the deep end with you. You really have but one choice, anyway. Well, Miss Sykes, I'm waiting. With regards to the witness, Gator Tornado, the defense wishes to in indict her. Indict. Indict? Indict. Does this see a silent? That's correct. Okay. It is, a, it is a fancy pants, schmancy pants way of saying accuse. Oh, schmancy pants. Indict. 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 Yes. All right, indict her. That thing. There's no reason for me to hold back. Not if I really believe in my client. The defense wishes to formally indict Gator Tornado for the murder of Typhoon Tornado. I have tried to be merciful. Truly, I have. But now, not even your pleas will reach the Holy Mother's ears. You will have plenty of time to regret your decision in the pit of hell. Except I won't need to. The person who murdered the victim was not Mr. Wet. It was Gator Tornado. The bandages! It's just from a silly slip-up I made while cooking yesterday, that's all. It's not like I have some sort of a grudge and I'm really trying to frame window and... I... I'm a successful performer! Uh-huh. What kind of extreme cooking were you doing to cut yourself on the forehead? But I'm such a klutz, you can tell by how good I am with my hands. Exactly. Well, what can I say? That's what happened, though. You also don't have an alibi for the period before 4 p.m., do you, Gator? But, but, I really didn't know anything was wrong until Shisho was found dead. Damn it! Why couldn't the defense lawyer have been a dude? This would have been so much easier! <laughs> If you don't believe me, then with the twisty twist twist! Oh my god. And Bloon! There you have it! An adorable little kitty! With some really disturbing lips. <laughs> well, I have to make them out of balloons. It's the only material I have. How can you suspect a cutesy little balloon artist like me? Hmm. Please stop talking. Gator, I've been meaning to say this for a while now, but... Could it be that you don't have an eye for balloon art? Eh, just because my aesthetics are bad, my skills are really good, though! Don't you think I know that? You didn't have to come out and say it! Uh... Okay. I'm the daughter of a great Rakugo artist! I never wanted to do stupid balloon art! I was supposed to be a Rakugo storyteller, too, just like my late daddy. B but Shisho told me to do balloon art instead. It's not Motive. fair! It's not fair! Resentment, not promotion, lack of success, angry at window. I, I guess the victim thought she had no talent as a Rakugo artist, either. But you know what I do have? Balloons, yes, I know. They're real. I don't believe you. Damn it! Somebody better believe me! So you're still going to suspect a poor little thing like me? P please stop trying to skirt the issue. It all comes down to the scent of perfume and the cut on your forehead. You and the culprit in Owen's testimony share these two traits. You didn't mention any balloons. You're dead set on accusing me, aren't you? Well, here's what I have for naughty little girls like you, with a twisty twist twist, and I got rid of all my other stuff, except the doggy in the hat. Ah! I'm gonna cut ya, witch! Ha 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 ha! Go ahead, make me testify all you want. When the truth's revealed, it'll be your balloon or mine that goes pop! Got it? Oh my, is this yet another hidden personality? <laughs> This is kind of awesome! <laughs> Simon, is everybody in the tornado school like this? 
All performers are insane. You should know this by now, Sykes Dodo. Look at the two commentating over there. Oi! How should I know? It's not like I knew her very well. I don't come from... Oh my god. That is amazing. The noise. <laughs> the noise. <laughs> yeah. I visited the dressing room during that time to make a courtesy call after my act. She show and on were in there, but they were both snarring up a storm. I saw the note she show left, so I just left. Didn't want to disturb him, you know? Look at the balloon dog. Oh! That's really scary. It seems to me like she's got great and weird aesthetics. They'll stand out compared to everyone else. Yeah. The perfume, when smelled, must have been left over from when I visited. How heavy are you perfumed, lady? So Gary is saying she went into the dressing room, but then left right away. Huh. <laughs> Don't take her at her word. Come on, do you really think I would? I'm just trying to figure out how to get her to talk about what really happened. Now then, Miss Sykes, you may proceed with your cross-examination. The balloon sword. The balloon sword. That is extremely amusing. I want that balloon sword very much. And I also love the bags under her eyes. Like the complete transformation. Like everybody- Loon sword ball bag. What? Loon sword ball bag. <laughs> I, I just feel as though ball bag is not <laughs> something you should be talking about in the context of, of balloons. That's a fair point. Yeah, I visited the dressing room during that time to make a courtesy call after my act. A courtesy call after your performance, huh? Come to think of it, Wendo mentioned making the same kind of visit. Yeah, a visit to your master before and after your routine. That's just common courtesy with us Rakugo artists and entertainers, or whatever. So that means you paid the victim a courtesy call before your performance too, right? What did you see at that time? Who the hell cares? I do. He was having a drink and getting himself into a festive mood. He liked to say that drinking gave him a silver tongue. So he was already drinking by then. Lendo wasn't there in the dressing room yet at that time. Hey, they're all back. Check it out. Isn't that cool? I really am pretty talented at this. He must have gone in there during my act because when I went back... She show and Owen were in there, but they were both snoring up a storm. Could you describe how they appeared? They were both stretched out on the floor, snoozing away. So sitting the victim up and over the table must have been the culprit's doing. After all, who wouldn't stretch out on the floor if they could to take a nap? Yeah, that would definitely be comfortable. That matches up with what Owen said in his testimony. But if he was asleep, how could you tell it was Owen? How did you know it wasn't Wendo? It, it would have had to have been Owen if Wendo was asleep, which must mean Wendo never gets to sleep. Oh, God. I've known the guy for ages. One look at his face and I know which one I'm dealing with. I, I, I see. I saw the note she showed left, so I just left. Didn't want to disturb him, you know? Where did you find your master's note? I don't know, can't remember. Did you notice anything else unusual or out of place in the room? Maybe the TV being over by the door. Well, there was a sake and a half-eaten manju on the table. But I didn't see anything else out of place or whatever in the room, though. Certainly no TV, I bet they were watching it. Oh, is that a fact? They were watching TV or something like that. Oh, of course it is. What do you think? And you didn't change anything around while you were in there? I didn't do anything! And I ain't giving you the answer! Look, I'm telling ya! I didn't see anything funny in your tea show, and I didn't touch anything in the room! Your baldness. I request that statement be added to Geiru's testimony. <laughs> 
It's almost like I'm a defense lawyer. <laughs> How strangely thrilling, though I don't want to make a habit of it. Simon! Well, I don't! What's a statement like that going to do for us? Just play along and you'll see soon enough. Uh, Even Squared Dodo got it and he's a fool! Uh, hmm, I have no problem with adding that to the uh, testimony. But how about you, Miss Sykes? I, I have no problem with it either, Your Honor. <laughs> what is Simon thinking? The perfume Owen smelled must have been left over from when I visited! So you admit that the scent Owen smelled when he witnessed the crime was from your perfume? Yeah, sure, why not? All it proves is I was in the dressing room anyway! I don't do a thing to prove I killed Shisho! That, that, that may be true, but... Bucky's the one who bumped off Shisho! I didn't see anything funny near Shisho, and I didn't touch anything in the room! There weren't no dang TV! Oh, I just want to confirm. You didn't see anything at all unusual or out of place anywhere around the victim? D when you go to my bedroom, there's like 15 TVs clustered around the room. The only thing that was weird was that there was only one TV at the door here. You it's have a really weird lifestyle. I already told you, nothing. And you didn't touch anything at all in the dressing room? I ain't never seen a TV in my life. How many times I gotta say it? No, I didn't touch anything. Wait. But then is she saying she didn't see what Wendo immediately saw when he checked the victim's body? Present this. Does that mean it wasn't there yet at that time? Oh, hold on. I guess there was something now that I think about it. What is it? The soba making equipment was already there in the room. That means Bucky must have been in there in the dressing room before me doing something like Killing Shisho! Ah, uh, thanks for the non-help. Any time! <laughs> well, a new statement has been added. But she's still sticking to her guns. No, you just haven't gotten around to presenting what you need to. She said she didn't see anything unusual in the dressing room. But there is definitely one strange thing. Really? Why? Please tell me. I even know you're joking. I can't even insult you. If Master Tornado really is the one who left that, you'd think Geru would have noticed it. And if Master Tornado wasn't the one who left it, then we must ask who did. That's enough of this. You, you know what it is. Go, go present it. I, I think so. I really appreciate Simon's help, but I've got to come up with the answer myself this time. You know, looking at this, Gato being outside feeding her dog a number of dumplings, which we even got a CG on. You're the right. dog carries leftovers. Is it this gonna be where the actual murder weapon? Yeah, she just fed it to her dog. My dog ate it. Nah, <laughs> oldest trick in the book, right? Yeah, and that's probably why the dog buried the leftovers. Having said that, even if we're wrong about the TV, we don't have anything that actually shows the location of the TV. This is about. But we know who did the, the, the Karuta cards. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, it is that then. This is, this is what we need to point out, though. Yeah, because Wendo... Didn't see anything funny. Right, and didn't touch anything, so she's saying that it would have said Owen the Fourth already because Wendo's the one who moved it. Yeah. Well, I guess we were wrong about the TV, but I mean, we knew what they were talking about in any case. Objection. Take it! Geru? You said that you didn't notice anything odd or unusual near your master. Yes, many times! You also said you didn't touch anything in the dressing room. That's right. What about it? Then, I wonder who left that dying message with the Karuta cards. What are you going on about? It had to have been that Bucky! Sorry, but that's not possible. Because only three people knew of Wendo's personalities. Wendo, your master, and you! No! That's not fair! If Bucky had left that Karuta message, 
he wouldn't have spelled out Owen. He would have spelled out Wendo. That wasn't even an option, but ah, translation. What it boils down to is this. As a member of the Tornado School, you, Geru Tornado, are the only one who could have left that dying message. And as the person who left that message, it's clear that you are Master Tornado's killer. <laughs> Why don't you ever quit your yapping, you little kid? I'm really impressed by the tensile strength of that balloon. Statements you never heard before and will never hear again. You are like wretches clinging to the spider thread of salvation. Allow me to cut that holy thread from the heavens and bring you back down to Earth. Would you quit butting in whenever things start to go my way? Wait. No! Oh, it's been a while since you've done that. Silence, child. Playtime is over. What did you just say? I am impressed by the tensile strength of that balloon. What? Was was that too much of a non sequitur? I <laughs> I just don't really understand these culture shock jokes that well. It, as the witness stated, she went into the dressing room and soon came back out again. But the victim's note was not the only reason she left with such haste. There was another reason that compelled Geiru to leave at once. Geiru. Since I'm reminding you of it, would you please relate said reason to the court? There was a reason why Geru had to leave the dressing room? Well, I didn't want to show you this, but I guess I got no choice. Keep your eyes peeled, because here it comes. You only get to see this once. Your, your hand is all swollen and red. What happened, Geru? If you must know, I'm allergic to buckwheat! Which is how we know it's the dumplings. What? I like how Bucky is... Bucky, like, flees from the scent of Geru, and Geru is allergic to They're Bucky. They're just natural enemies. Allergic reactions to buckwheat can vary, though they're usually on the severe side. Really? She manipulates balloons. He is a balloon. Wow, it's like, I mean, you feel kind of bad for celiac disease sufferers, but, I mean, this this is like chasing somebody around with buckwheat dough can apparently kill them. Well, uh, hold on a minute. If she was in costume, because she was about to go perform, she'd have gloves on. This completely doesn't... I, I'm not that concerned about that. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, look, I it ha like they say that excuse. people with peanut allergies, if there is peanut dust in the room, some people will have a, an anaphylactic okay. shock. With, maybe, maybe. With Typhoon Tornado making soba noodles in his dressing room, Geiru is lucky to still be alive, considering all of the nasty, nasty soba flower that was swirling in the air. Though it is because she was killing him. Y yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what the answer is. Good thing I left pretty quick. I managed to escape with just a mild reaction. But I touched Shisho as he was being carried away, and look what it did to my poor hands. There must have been soba broth on his clothes or something. <laughs> if I'd inhaled any of that soba flour, I'd had a seizure, and it'd have been good night, Gator. I never could have stayed in that dressing room for very long. A person allergic to buckwheat couldn't be in a room with soba flour in the air, and certainly couldn't use soba dough as a murder weapon either. This th isn't good. Well, you know, three freshes. What if she was carrying around udon dough because she knew that... I was saying udon earlier, completely by accident, and you just started dissing me for it. You can't say udon dough now. I can't? Why not? Because I said so. But it's like framing her natural enemy, the buckwheat man. Just read your line, David. You knew it would come to this, didn't you? 
That's why you never mentioned her allergy. <laughs> As if I would do anything so underhanded. Bullshoot. Besides, Mr. Blackquill, as I understand it, that sort of thing is your specialty, isn't it? I was simply trying to protect the privacy of the witness. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. I'm sick of all these accusations. Why don't I just testify and get it all out into the open? Yeah? Okay. Oh, no. Poop. If I come into the slightest contact with buckwheat, I get an allergic reaction. And with that much soba flour in the air, that room could have literally killed me. That's why I didn't get a reaction. Right? Look at my hand. This touch and she shows body caused as much damage. The existence of buckwheat somewhere in the world causes me to set <laughs> flame. There must have been soba broth on his clothes. So I never could have committed that murder in the dressing room. Huh. I still can't believe it. Nobody told me she had a soba allergy. I, I didn't even think that was possible. Did you know, Simon? <laughs> Does it look like I knew? Protect the privacy of the witness, my foot. What a dirty trick. I'd never do something like that. Now what do we do? There's only one thing to do. Put prosecutor sad monk to shame with your cross-examination. I am pretty cross. Oh, that's not what you meant. Right! Hmm. No matter how small, I'll find us an opening and break her testimony down. She couldn't have committed it somewhere else. Yeah, right? And again, what about all the dough? If she was specifically trying to frame Bucky... If she didn't use soba dough to kill him, then that's not soba dough all over the room. That is true. But, you know, the idea that you'd said about Bucky coming in later, but then it wouldn't have been... Well, what if he just came in and just cooked soba dough? Yeah, which is what he was going to do in the first place. Yeah. And, and she and showed that's up before the, he did. Yeah, and that's the reaction, because we assumed he was dead when, when she got there, because she fed it to her dog. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If I come into the slightest contact with buckwheat, I get an allergic reaction, okay? You're not lying about this soba allergy of yours, right? Of course not. I mean, that prosecutor over there is he's not going to lie. He can be wrong, and he can push stuff that's wrong, but if he knows it's wrong, that's he's not going to lie true. about it. I swear on the grave of my father up in heaven. I can even get you a doctor's certificate if you want. She seems to be telling the truth. I've had this allergy for as long as I can remember, but I never dreamt in a million years and clear me of murder! And you'll come out of this smelling like a delicate buckwheat flower to boot. Judge! W well said, Your Honor. Ho, 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 ho. Keep talking like that and uh, I might show you some balloons. <laughs> oh, 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 and with that much soba flower in the air, that room could have literally killed me! I'll give you that there is quite a bit of flour scattered about in that dressing room. But you went in to pay your respects to your master regardless, right? Yeah, but like I said, I came right back out. I mean, the soba making tools were right there, right? You better believe I was careful not to breathe any of it in. But you still could have committed this crime if you'd held your breath while doing it. Really? That's stupid. Yeah, I know. Don't be ridiculous! I would have suffocated to death before she showed dead! Well, I mean, you are a lot younger and healthier than he is. I'm just saying. You certainly seem to have quite the lung capacity. What? What the hell are you talking about? Y yeah, I guess you're right. Jeez, your face has quite the lung capacity. You can tell I did it because of this dastardly pose. <laughs> Look at my hand. This touching she shows body caused as much damage. Maybe there's a twist here. Like you're actually allergic to dogs and not so much. I can get you a doctor's certificate. Bring my little jugemu in here. Although I can squeeze him like there's no tomorrow. I'm telling you. 
I have a genuine, honest and goodness soap allergy. I don't care if you think it's weird, it's still true. Defense. The witness clearly has an authentic allergy to buckwheat. Any further deliberation on the matter would be meaningless, pointless, worthless, just like you. <laughs> You're the man, lawyer girl. All right, fine. <laughs> what are we doing? I was just starting to think the same thing myself. <laughs> I mean, I have to like it, though. I probably got this allergic reaction on my hand here because I touched Shisho. There must have been soba broth on his clothes. I have a question about that, actually. If you're allergic to soba, does that mean you're allergic to the noodle broth, too? It's got soba in it! The buckwheat from the noodles can dissolve into the broth, so duh! Touching soba broth can be just as deadly for me. Don't you know anything but an amateur? I'm not a doctor! I, I'm sorry. Do I look like a doctor to you? Look, anything that has soba in it, or anything that has touched soba, is like poison to me! So I never could have committed that murder in the dressing room! It's the perfect alibi! So, I just want to cover all of my bases, but... Could the murder have possibly occurred somewhere other than the dressing room? Somebody would have seen it! That is out of the question, Defense. By even asking, you show your complete disregard for all we have discussed until now. Arguments you yourself made and proved. Yes, I have to agree. The defense can't go around suggesting new premises without basis. <laughs> it's one thing if you have the basis, but boy, howdy. Yeah. Unfortunately for you, Shisho didn't take a single step from his dressing room around the time of the murder. Uh, well, uh, that is unfortunate for everyone. Geiru could not have possibly committed this crime in a room where soba was being made. In a room where soba was being made. Finally, the time has come for the last rites of the victim to begin. <laughs> well, what would Mr. Wright do at a time like this? <laughs> no, he wouldn't do that. He's far too mature. Off gets! There's only one thing to do! Rotate my thinking 90 degrees. What are you smiling about? Has the pressure overwhelmed you? Nope! It's just, the worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smile. Eh, I see. I see. You have no rebuttal, and so the only thing left to you is to smile. That's, of course, a big sticking point. Wait. That's one of those big quotes. Oh, oh, okay. But, you know, context, Billy, not oh. having it. I hate you so much. Me too. You giraffe woman. No, no, that's too much of a compliment. You are not such a high order of mammal. That's where you're wrong. I am a high order of mammal. I mean, I do have a rebuttal. Ah, so you don't have a rebuttal, but you are a mammal. Turn your thinking around, Athena. Not don't just 90 degrees. Don't try to figure out how Geru, who's allergic to soba, could commit the crime. Figure out how Gator could be in that room and not have an allergic reaction instead. Oh, it's me again! Let me rest? Huh? Maybe if I were a lump of regular flour dough for udon noodles. Oh, yeah? yeah? How many times am I gonna say this? D so. So, uh, I just. I just teased you and you brought it up because. You've confused soba and udon, which, as you can see, is part of a sticking point for this for this case. And I like how soba and udon are even like rivals, <laughs> and the distinction of this case comes down to the distinction between soba and udon. Yes, but I'm fresh like my soba, and you don't let soba do rest. It's all about the tree freshes. So you see, he couldn't have been cooking soba if he went to sleep. Grind the buckwheat seeds fresh, 
but the dough of fresh, mm -hmm. and I'll never finish this quote ever. Oh, there's nothing you can do about that last part. He, he's blacked out. I feel like we've redressed this flashback like six times. It is extremely important for me to remind you that he is blacked out. It appears to have been written by the victim. Allow me to read it. <clears throat> Resting. Do not disturb. I remembered that. Yes, that's the note I saw. After reading that, who wouldn't think she show was napping? If you must know, I'm allergic to buckwheat. Buckwheat udon. Buckwheat udon. Buckwheat udon. Buckwheat udon. Shut up. That's certain. <laughs> that's certain piece of evidence. Are you done? What if that certain piece of evidence Buckwheat! doesn't mean what we think it means? If that's the case, I might be able to prove that Geru could have committed this crime. No matter how hard you search your mind or dig through little seen pieces in your court record, you cannot overturn facts. Well, Miss Sykes, if you have no further objections, I'll hand down my ruling. True, I can't overturn facts. What if we got our facts about a piece of evidence wrong? <laughs> Is that just going to be this episode title? <sighs> got our facts wrong. What are you talking about now? And which piece of evidence do you mean, Miss Sykes? Please point it out to this court. This evidence proves that Geru could have killed her master, even with her soba allergy. Uh... Oh, what about just use Simon's statement then? Gadu was outside feeding her dog a number of dumplings. The dog buried his leftovers in the yard. That would have to be it. This is the only thing that could possibly point towards it, right? Otherwise, we're going to have to really dig through it for hidden meanings. Yeah, because if they weren't actually dumplings, but like udon noodles, or dough, udon dough. Well, that would be what they were made of. Right, right. Well, I'm just trying to... Well, yeah, it, it's it, yeah, it's like... She was feeding him some dumplings. Why couldn't it have been those? Th this way she could have killed her master with dough, like yeah, we already established, yeah. even with her soba allergy, by it not being soba dough, and here's her dog eating the evidence. The evidence. Gotcha. Take that! No? Okay, that's fine. We know what we're saying, though. Yeah, we know why she didn't have an allergic reaction in the first place. We've been talking about it. We just yeah. didn't say what we want. I thought that might have said what we wanted. But... That sounded good to me, too. Okay, this is silly. What if it's this? If he was resting, then he couldn't be cooking okay. soba. You gotta do it fresh. The note is fishy. The note what does is it have to fishy. do with soba? It has to do with the fact that she said there was soba everywhere. He would not be resting if he was cooking soba. Bucky says you don't let soba flour rest. It's yeah, but about he's the not cooking freshes. the soba. Exactly. He's not cooking the soba. There wouldn't be soba flour everywhere, as she claimed, if he was resting. Well, give it a try. It's the only weird thing. I don't know what this necessarily has to do with soba if it's not the timing of when the note was supposed to have been written. And I don't know what it is, but if it's not this, we're just going to have to brute force it anyway. It's Master Tornado's note. The, the note? Uh, how? It's the only other thing that was weird. Preposterous. See, if, if Gator came in when... Bucky was... No, she showed up before Bucky showed Yeah, up. yeah. If, if she showed up before Bucky and then put that note up to keep anybody else from going in, then it, there wouldn't have been any soba, I guess? I, I don't know. I, I, I still think the evidence of a whole bunch of other things that she's feeding your dog is more important, but we just yeah. haven't got there yet. What possible connection could there be between the witness's allergy and that note? I mean, she Cancer probably lies. wrote it. The answer lies in the true meaning of this note. It's true meaning? This note does not mean I am resting, do not disturb, as we have assumed. But rather, it actually means this dough is resting, do not disturb it. Huh. So, it turned out to be right by accident, it's just that it was fishy, and we really didn't have any idea what we were talking about. 
Ah, that it seems so. That that happens in these games. Wait a minute, Athena. That doesn't make any sense. You're right. It doesn't. After all, as Bucky told us many a time, you don't let Soba do rest. What? What's all this gibber jabber got to do with anything? I pity the fool. This is it. The home stretch. This note and Mr. West's words have led me to the conclusion that Master Tornado was making udon noodles. The victim, Taifu Tornado, was not making buckwheat noodles. He was making ordinary udon noodles instead. Polkuga! That layer of flour in the dressing room wasn't soba flour, but plain old wheat flour for udon. As usual, the, the usual problem is we knew exactly what it was, but there was a step it wanted us to make that we didn't see the necessity of having yeah. to make the step. Yeah, yeah. It's That's like, why could we it. move on to it? So actually, it was totally possible for Gayru to be in that room and kill her master. <laughs> Ah, excellent. Oh, my lip! It stings! What? But if that's true, it changes everything! Don't go dig up the yard! That's why Bucky was upset. Because he was cooking Udo noodles. Because he kept saying, not some stupid Udo, not some stupid Udo. Eh, I don't know, maybe. Your Honor, the defense requests that the flower in the room be tested immediately. Objection. We got time. But soba noodles were found in the bowl, and Gaidu did have a reaction on her hand. How do you explain those things? Um, well... Even were it udon flour instead of soba, you still cannot prove Gaidu committed the crime! Yard dog! But... Yard dog! Don't lose your nerve now. Keep charging forward or you'll feel my blade at your back. Oh, God. Also, <laughs> Yard Dog. It, enough with the threats already. I got it, Yard Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about pressure. All right, Athena. Take a deep breath and go over everything again. Oh, my brain! I really like the music for this. I'm going to revisualize the case from start to finish. I have to find conclusive evidence that Keiru committed this murder. I don't, I don't know about conclusive, but... <laughs> what was Master Tornado making in his dressing room? Ramen! I mean, Udon's good. I'm just more on the Silva side. Master Tornado was making Udon! By my logic, Master Tornado must have been making Udon noodles in his dressing room. Something at the crime scene indicates otherwise. What was found in the bowl on the table? That, uh, that was soba, or maybe it was ramen? I mean, wasn't it soba that was on the table? That's what they're saying. You can't mix this stuff up when you look at it. You can make ramen out of buckwheat, I guess, but... There was soba in the bowl. Because Bucky made it. Yeah. Even though the master wasn't making soba, soba noodles were found at the scene. So that means the noodles had to have come from somewhere. Bucky. Bucky. Bucky was there to teach him how to cook. Wait a minute. One mysterious serving of soba noodles? That sounds familiar. Yeah, the guy's an idiot and he's drunk. Where did the soba in the bowl of the table come from? A catering service? No. Oh. It's a catering well, I mean, I was service, saying Bucky is the catering service. Yeah, that's what service. I thought. Wait a minute. It was a catering service, and somebody must have delivered it. It wouldn't have been Gaidu. And nobody testified about any delivery person, so that means... Where did the soba and the bowl on the table come from? Oh, the, the master? But isn't that saying... He was... He said he, he did have Bucky come over to teach him how to make it, so he probably already had it, but that's not what he was making at the time. I guess so. Yeah. Well, we didn't quite have this. The only thing we knew... The soba was from the master soba stop. That's why there was such a vacancy in the fridge. Mm, that's true. The soba noodles found at the scene were fa from the master's stock of uncooked noodles. And he did talk about that. But then, why would the culprit go out of her way to cook that soba and put it in the bowl? Well, to implicate somebody other than her, because she couldn't possibly have done it if it was soba. Why did the culprit cook the soba noodles and put them in the bowl? 
Well, she surely doesn't like Soma. Come on. Culprit wanted to hide the Udon dough. Soma was found at the scene. So that means the culprit must have taken the Udon with her to hide it. Yeah, this just, like, all of this stuff makes sense. It's just that, I mean, we had jumped ahead, or I had really specifically. I guess my deal was I didn't think have tracing the precise location with the soba flower, which I had not considered at all. I wasn't sure why it mattered. mattered. Yeah. That's why we were not quite up to speed on this, but the end result is... But why did the culprit take the Udon away to hide it? It must have been because she killed him with the Udon dough. Like, we had the result! Yeah! I, I don't... I, I, I. The murder weapon was Udon dough. It was Udon all along. That's it! The Udon dough was the real weapon used to kill Typhoon Tornado. Yeah, we know! We just, I guess, we'll do some type of funny song and dance routine to place the soba. And the reason why no weapon was found is because Gator got rid of the dough. I somehow. already had this! We already had this! Like, last episode, we had this! The real murder weapon was the Udon dough the victim made. If we can find this dough, that'll prove my theory correct. And undeniably through Gator's kill. I know where it is! I can tell you where to look right now! Even if we could find this dough, what makes you think it would prove she's the one? The blood. Please recall Owen's witness testimony. Eyewitness testimony, Prosecutor Sadmonk. If the injury on Gator's forehead was caused by the victim's knife, then Gator's blood must have dripped down onto the dough used as the murder weapon. That would make the dough pretty conclusive evidence, wouldn't you agree? Ah, but where is this conclusive evidence? Please don't look at your court record and find it, it's quite obvious. Let us hear your theory on where this murder weapon is. Well, it's... If I can't find the answer in the evidence I have on hand, we'll lose this trial. Fortunately... How did Gary get rid of the Udon dough? Think, Athena. What do I have that points to suspicious behavior on Gary's part? Now then, Miss Sykes, let's hear your answer. Well, we'll have to wait till next time. But, but where is the real murder weapon hidden? That's what I want to know, guys. Guys? I could go for some udon. Guys? As I was saying, I... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll be doing a bit. I'll... Mm, 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 mm. Oh, well, since we're taking a break, I... Think we should order out. What are you guys feeling? Spaghetti? Yeah. <laughs> 